In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a paper 50 caliber rifle that shoots. This is an original paper design of the 50 caliber, and I designed it in a way so that it's easy for everyone to make. For this project, we're gonna be using a single sheet of a black cansum paper that has a size of 100 by 70 centimeters. The idea is to make a bunch of paper rolls with different sizes out of that sheet and shape them into that nice looking model. It's much easier than you think, just follow the instructions and do as I say. We will start our project by dividing the sheet into 5 different parts, and with a sharp cutter, we will carefully split them up. The widths of these parts are different, the first two have widths of 25cm, and a 20cm for the middle one, and 15cm for the last two parts. The next step is to take a 15cm piece, and with an oak dowel or anything that has the same diameter, we are going to place it at the edge and simply roll it up like that. Once you are finished, seal the paper roll by putting some hot glue on the edge and roll it over to seal it off. If you don't have a hot glue gun, just get a hot glue stick from any hardware store and burn each step and use it normally like a glue gun, but just be careful not to burn yourself. After we finish the first roll, take the 20 cm piece and use the previous roll we made with the dowel inside and do exactly the same with the second piece. After that, take the two 25 cm pieces and do the same with one piece, then pull it out and do the same with the other one, so we have two identical paper rolls. Pull out the other paper rolls and now we have four different sizes of rolls. 3 quarter inch, 1 inch and 2 one and a half inches in diameter. The last piece of paper will be cut into two different pieces, a 30 and 40 cm. The 30 cm will be glued and wrapped around this way, and the other will be rolled up to a very thin paper roll. Now after we have finished the rolling part, let's start shaping them starting by taking one of the 1 inch paper rolls and flatten it out like that. Flip it over and flatten out the other side as well, till you end up with that diamond shape. On one end, draw a line of a small rectangular shapes along the center line, and carefully slice that part all the way down to the bottom, then remove it so the rectangulars are opened from both sides. This will give the design a more realistic look, like an actual rifle. Now we have finished the first part, which will be the base of the rifle, and all the other parts will be attached to it. For instance, to make the grip and the stock of the rifle, we're gonna take the 1 inch diameter roll and cut it into 4 pieces. 2 10 cm pieces, 20 cm piece and 30 cm piece. For the stock we will take the 30 cm piece and flatten the edges like that. Then bend it over and glue it back at the end here. For the grip, take the 2 10 cm pieces and glue them together. After they dry out, press on the sides down the grip and press on the top, till you have a shape like that. Take the last paper roll and flatten it out and fold it this way, then flex it around your fingers to provide a space for the grip, then put some glue on it and stick the grip in place. After it dries out, make a cut on the base 10 cm away from the stock, glue the top of the grip and stick it in there. Before we make the magazine, make a small cut beside the grip, on the top and the bottom, and make sure the bottom cut is a little bigger than the upper one. This is where the trigger is going to take place. To make the magazine, take the tube we made at the beginning, and make a steep cut at the bottom. Flatten it out and shift the side crease a little bit, then flatten it out another time. Open it up and you have got something like that. Make 4 cuts along the corners and then close the 4 flaps as if you are closing a box. Seal it with glue and you are done with the first part. Now take the other 1.5 inch paper roll and cut a 30 cm out of it. Flex it around your fingers like you did with the grip cover and with the scissors tuck the tips like so and crease them out until you have a shape like that. A little bit of glue on it and cover the top of the magazine with it. After that, make a small cut next to the grip and put some glue on the magazine, then stick it in there. 
The flaps of the grip cover will also be glued next to the magazine. The remaining of the 1.5 inch roll will be cut into 4 pieces. We are gonna use the middle size pieces to make the scope. We will take the bigger one and make two creases along the sides, which will reduce the diameter of the roll progressively. The creases will be closed by glue, and the internal flaps will be held in place as well. The other piece will also be reduced by tucking in one side, and be sealed with glue. Now we will take the 3 quarter inch paper roll and cut a 10 cm piece out of it. This will connect the two pieces we just made forming the scope of the rifle. We should now install the scope, but before that we will take the bigger roll of the remaining two parts we kept before and cut it into two pieces. The two pieces will be reduced the same way as the scope and be slided onto the remaining piece of the 3 quarter inch roll, which will be used as the barrel. Each one will be glued 10 cm away from the other. This way when you insert the barrel inside the base, it remains still and fix it easily in place. The smaller roll will be used to make the barrel tip, by creasing the front corners and making some cuts along the sides, then sticking it to the tip of the barrel. Finally, we will take the last piece of roll and cut it into 20 cm piece and two 10 cm pieces. A 10 cm piece will be folded reversely like that and the top corner will be tucked inside this way or you can just make an angle cut instead and cover it with a piece of tape. This is gonna be the trigger. A rubber band will go around the trigger then it will be inserted into the cut we made earlier till it pierces the other side. Stretch the rubber band and hang it on the magazine. This way, if you pull the trigger, the rubber band will pull it back. Now if you make a small cut at the front and hang the rubber band between it and the trigger, the rubber band will be released once you pull the trigger. After that, we will take another 10 cm piece and shape it into a trigger guard. Then glue it right under the trigger. The last piece will be flexed like that and glued under the scope. Two holes will be made behind the trigger and the scope will be inserted in there. This way whenever you want to reload, just pull up the scope and stretch the rubber band. In some cases you might face some problems while shooting, like the rubber band slips away from the trigger before shooting or it gets stuck after pulling the trigger. This can be fixed by modifying the upper angle of the trigger, which can be determined based on some factors, like the type of the rubber band and the stretch distance. If you want to make a stand for the rifle, make a thin paper roll and flex it around your fingers, then control the angle by putting a strip of tape around it. Put some glue on it and stick it under the barrel. At this point, the rifle is finished and ready for action. Just don't forget to wear safety glasses for eye protection and play safe with your friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any question about anything in the project, make sure to leave me a comment below and feel free to share this video and subscribe to my channel. I make a video every week explaining new ideas and project, so make sure to subscribe so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Well, that's it for now, see you in the next video.